Hey class, um, I just wanted to draw your attention to one change I made in the course. Um, and it's kind of a big one. Um, I added an activity, and this means that your unit summative won't be due this coming week, but it'll be due after March break, so yay! Um, I was looking at the summative, and there was a huge chunk of it that you hadn't had any experience doing, um, and that was because Miss Elward deleted activity four. Um, so I've decided to put activity four back in, and that means that you'll get out of an activity later on in the course um, that I'll, I'll delete. Um, but the one for this unit is pretty important, so I'm bringing it back in. If you've already gotten a start on your unit summative, don't worry, just save your work and you'll still be able to use all of that work um, when you submit the unit summative after March break. But I do want you to work on this um, inquiry and I've made it do the last last day of March break rather than um, earlier in the week, or the last last day before March break rather than earlier in the week as it was before. So you have all week to work on this task. So let's just go there. Um, here is the task, and this is the first time that you get a chance to do inquiry, which is important. Um, it's a major part of the curriculum. It's actually a quarter of the curriculum. So we need to practice it. We haven't practiced it yet. Um, and this is actually a group task, um, but it's not a super group task because you're each going to be interviewing somebody different. So I've got the student groups here. If I've forgotten anyone, let me know. Um, my brain is kind of mush from marking your um, trendsetter um, projects, which were very well done. Um, and basically what you need to do is you need to create a questionnaire and in activity four there are some samples of questionnaires and different ideas, um, different questions to ask, so you should be able to look at that and um, use it as a basis to create your own questionnaire. Um, you might want to do this in Google Docs and then share it with the rest of your group members so everyone can make um, additions and, um, and make suggestions to that questionnaire. So Monday and Tuesday would be a really smart time to get that questionnaire up and going and then that gives you the rest of the week to um, interview people and finish up the rest of this task. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to come up with a questionnaire and then interview a subject each from a different age cohort. So for example we've got a, a group here with Julia, Kyla, and Victoria. Julie is going to interview someone from one age cohort, Kyla is going to pick a different age cohort to um, interview, and then Victoria is going to pick a different one. And if you don't know what an age cohort is, there's a nice little box here that um, gives you an idea of different cohorts. So depending on when the person is born, so 1982 to 1995 might be like, um, I don't know, like an aunt or um, I, a friend of a friend. Um, generation X is likely going to be around your parents' generation. Um, baby boomers will be your grandparents. Um, you could interview a teacher. It doesn't really matter. You only need to interview one person, but they need to be from a different age cohort. So maybe someone's interviewing someone from um, their grandparents' age group. Someone's going to be interviewing someone from their parents' age group, and someone's going to be interviewing someone from more of their friends' age group. So, um, individually you're going to research your own cohort, so like I said, while this is a group task, um, it's not really because you're each going to be submitting something different to the Dropbox. So research the cohort that you are going to be interviewing, and then um, come up with a research question. So this research question is something that you're going to have to come up with before the questionnaire. So um, this will be something that will be done as a group and as well the questionnaire will be um, as a group as well. Um, the assignment talks about, that's a lot of text so I'm going to break that up, um, the difference between open-ended and um, closed responses. So um, there are different merits to choosing an open-ended question and a closed, more focused question. Um, you don't want just yes or no responses. That doesn't give you very good data. And then you interview. So this might be if you're interviewing your parents, you might just be able to ask them some questions after school. Um, arranging an interview, this, these kind of tips are a little bit formal depending on who you're talking to. I would suggest talking to someone that you have easy access to, like a teacher, a parent, a coach, um, someone that you see um, on a regular basis.
So afterwards, I want you to compare with your buddies and see what you came up with. And there are some discussion questions there that you can post to the discussion. If you want, you can post to the discussion um, as a group or you can post individually. It really doesn't matter. Um, you are submitting your report, your specific report, um, to the Dropbox by yourself. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, step one. Talk to the people in your group. Step two, choose a cohort for each group member. Step three, develop some sort of research question. So, for example, maybe I want to know um, about people's thoughts about purchasing ready-to-wear clothing. So, I want to know what they think about it, uh, what, what they think about the experience, what they think about taking it home, what they think about... Um, what's in style now, whatever you want. That's going to be um, up to you. You might want to make it more um, more specific. So you can see some ideas here. Um, consumer thoughts about purchasing a branded watch, such as like a Rolex, or maybe like a designer um, a designer bag, like, uh, like a Michael Kors bag, or um, Louboutin shoes. So you can be really specific if you want, or you can be um, more broad. If you're interested in social justice, an idea here, um, the idea of purchasing clothing made in China, maybe you can um, see what people think about um, like social equity and um, clothing that is made abroad in like sweatshops. So you can really talk about anything you want um, that links to fashion. There's even an idea here to talk about how you dress for family celebrations. So maybe your family's more casual, maybe your family likes to dress up and go out. Um, really the questionnaire is just to get you to um, have experience doing some primary source research on your own. So once you've developed the research question, you as your, in your group will develop the questionnaire. If it's hard for you guys to work together based on your schedules, then maybe um, each person might come up with three questions and then you can add the three questions together and you'll have nine questions and that would be pretty decent um, for the questionnaire. Each of you are interviewing on your own. Each of you um, will, can post to the discussion on your own and you'll be submitting your report on your own. So everyone will get a different mark. Your mark isn't um, doesn't hinge on your other group members. So if, if someone is AWOL, I know it's an online course, so maybe one of your group, mem group members just drops off the base of the planet. Um, that's not going to affect your grade. Just do your part and you will be just fine. And I'll worry about the person that's dropped off the face of the planet. So hopefully that get, uh, is exciting that you're going to be doing interviews and questionnaires and that's kind of fun. You can use... Um, you can do an interview face to face, or you could even do something like a survey monkey. Um, so that's an online survey that you can um, submit questions to, and then you can just email people the links. So, survey monkey, let's just you know, sign up with Google real quick just to show you how it works. Um, you can create your survey, so you'll add questions. They could be open-ended questions, they could be multiple choice questions. Um, it's pretty easy to use multiple choice. You could rate it, like, how often do I shop um, at high-end stores? Um, and if you hover here, you can see what the questions look like. You can rank things. This is a pretty versatile thing. And if you're not really super comfortable sitting down and interviewing and taking notes, this might be a good option. So I want you to have fun with this. Um, I'm giving you all week to work on it. So remember, you're supposed to be working on your course about an hour a day. So the idea is that this task to plan it, do it, and submit it should take around four to five hours depending on how productive you are. So if you have any questions, let me know um, and then you're free for March break. So have a great night and we will talk soon.